Welcome to our channel. Let us pray every day. Today, we're going to go on a 31 day journey of Thanksgiving. Today is day 11 of 31 days of giving thanks unto God. We're going to look at Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6 today and it reads, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Thank you, Father God, today. Thank you, Lord, that we can trust you with our whole heart. Thank you, Lord God, that we shall not fear allowing you to impact the entirety of our lives. We trust you with our lives, for you are a good God. You're a good Father. We don't lean to our own understanding, for we realize that we, we don't know anything, Lord. We need you, Father. So we trust you with our whole heart, with our whole life. That you know what's best for us. You know what we need. Even when we pray for things, Lord God, that, that it won't even be beneficial to us. We thank you that you don't give us the things that we don't need. Even though we ask for it, Lord. If it's not something we need. Because we don't understand everything, Father. But you know everything. You know the things that we need and what we don't need. So we trust you, Father. We trust you that you have our best interests at heart. <laughs> Thank you, Lord God. Even when we pray for patience and the things we have to wait for, but patience, has its, once it has its perfect work in us, then we will lack nothing. So we thank you, Lord God, even for patience in our lives. For we know that the result of it is good. We acknowledge you, Lord God, in all of our ways. In every area of our lives, we commit to ask you for help. We commit to seek you. Find out what it is that you would have us to do and obey your instructions. For we know that you are directing our paths. We give you praise for it, Father. Thank you, Lord. You're a good God. And you take good care of us. So right now, we just lift our hands before you, Father. And we just say thank you. Thank you for the path that you have for us. It's clear. We thank you, Lord God, that we trust you and that your word guides us into all truth. So thank you, Father. In those areas, Lord God, that we haven't allowed you to come in to be a part of, Lord, help us to submit to you. Help us to surrender to you, Lord. And the more we study in your word and meditate on your promises, the more we trust you, Father. And the more we trust you, the more we allow you to come into every area of our lives. So help us to spend quality time with you, Lord, that our trust is developed with you over time. You've proven yourself to be faithful to us. You've proven yourself to be trustworthy. You've proven yourself time and time again, Lord God. Open our eyes that we will see just how much you love us, how much you care for us. We thank you, Father. We love you, Lord. We thank you so much for loving us. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Now I want you to make this confession after me concerning yourself. 
I trust in the Lord with all my heart because I know that he has my best interest in mind. And I lean not to my own understanding. In all of my ways, I acknowledge God. And I thank him for ordering my path. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, we thank you today for ordering our steps as we trust you, lean on you, and obey you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, that concludes our session for this time. Thanks for joining in and continue to pray every day. Until next time, we'll see you then. And if you have any prayer requests, you can send them in to me at letuspraveveryday at gmail.com. I look forward to hearing from you and praying along with you.